welcome again. It's Ebon Magician 34. Threw a little deck together today for uh, for my little local. Just kind of hammered it in real quick. I've made a couple of changes for you, but this is basically the deck list. And I'm going to show you my synchros and my side deck real quick. I'll even tell you the cards I switched out. I decided as a tribute to a friend of mine, I'd build zombies. So here's the deck list real quick. Swing Spreader, Meizuki, Amazing little shock trooper of the deck, Zombie Master, Pyramid Turtle, these are all pretty straightforward. One each on these guys, they're so searchable out of the deck. Thanks to Pyramid Turtle, you can get each one of them. This guy's basically in here because he's an answer to Colossal because he kills the Warriors and he kills Spellcasters in combat, that's not really going to be an issue. Uh, this guy coming out of the hand for free is pretty nice. And I want one ill blood, but more than that, I've found in past experience, uh, it's just too darn hard to get, his, get him to activate his effect and still, you know, fire it off and all that, and still get everything and have him not be stacking up in the hand and junky. And since I can go pull him with turtle, really one's all I need. Turtle's pretty amazing in this format right now, by the way, just because he's not going to get bottom list. They feel pretty worthless to book him and put him in defense, where he's actually stronger. He's still going to die in combat. He rams into all kinds of stuff. Uh, most of the common answers don't really apply to him. Taking a page out of Jason Holloway's book, running Ryko, Light Sworn Hunter. Um, obviously, he pops any card in the field. You'd be amazed how many times he kills Goyo and Armed Wing. Uh, really effective there. And the Milling 3, obviously something really good to accelerate your zombies and get going where you need to. And on that note, another card that's really good for this format, Triple Necrogard now. Dark Arm Dragon. This deck runs a limited number of darks, enough to hit three, but you don't go over very often. So he's actually almost always a good draw when you get him. Spirit Reaper. Not my favorite reanimation zombie, but he holds the line sometimes, and he's still a zombie, he's still dark. I was running these two guys, but I neglected to remember that this guy's ruling is a little different. He doesn't work in the damage step anymore like he used to. And I was running this guy because he was another beast for him. And I was thinking I could, you know, send him to the grave with Ryko, etc. Uh, now that doesn't work. Pulled these guys right quick and made a substitution. Rebellum turns into Gale, which I had been side decking, uh, and now I'm just main decking him. And my quick pick, this may not be for long term, but like I said, most of this deck was thrown together anyway, uh, just for a four round local. Armageddon Knight over the Big Ape. Because um, sometimes I find it a little hard to get the right zombie in at the right time. And Pyramid Turtle, just getting the one card wasn't always enough. Uh, spells. Heavy Storm, there's really only one continuous card, and that's the card set for turns you're about to see. This really doesn't hurt you nearly as much as it helps you, so. Empty Destruction is the watchword because of Royal Oppression. There's the Typhoon. Monster Reborn. Brain Control. Brain control. Card save for turn times one, so you don't hit it too often. There's not really a way to search it, but when you hit it, you special summon here, you get to draw the cards. Pretty straightforward. Only two book of life, don't want it to stack up, because after all you have to get their graveyard and yours in line. If you hit early, these aren't necessarily as good. But uh, obviously, backbone of what makes this deck so nasty. Book of Moon answers everything. Shouldn't need a lot of explanation. Just one burial. Don't want to hit it too much, not quite enough to remove. This isn't old days plague sworn. Uh, really, the only cards that are going to remove are Necro, Mezuki, Plague Spreader, and the Dark Arm for his effect. So. No lures, the darks aren't quite regular enough for that to be uh, worthwhile. Mirror Force, cleans the field, gets rid of the big monsters, which are occasionally problems. Torrential, same story applies. Don't care about killing your own stuff quite as much, obviously. Zombies. Solemns. Zombies are trying to kill quickly, but uh, sometimes it ends up being a little, a little on the slower side. Because stuff gets in the way, but anyway, that's, that's neither here nor there. Dusties, once again, Royal Oppression, a big problem. These are main deck largely because of all the suppressions running around, but it helps get around Solemns and other back row problems, because usually if the monsters are the only things on the field, then you can handle it with the rest of your stuff. So the spells and traps are what usually screw you up. Obviously, you want to get around bottomless. Um, Phoenix is your main deck set card. Obviously, the discard helps you. Occasionally, you will draw the necro. It's nice to spin. Spin gets rid of those big monsters. Also, offensive things like Stardust Dragon, they're sometimes hard to get rid of. Um... That's the main deck right there. Synchros, always real straightforward. Stardust. Red Dragon. Colossal. Thought Ruler. These are pretty much the usual offenders for the most part. Avenging Knight, obviously you're not going to get him very often, but uh, 
he's still just so amazing. Uh, Dark Strike, Black Rose, Armor Master, Urbellum, because you have the power to clean the field a lot, and in case their hand is big, this guy is uh, pretty dynamic. Goya, sorry, that's hard to see. Goya. Tin Man, that's Guy Knight. Doom Kaiser, almost never end up summoning him, even though he is a zombie. Uh, Dark Ruler Hades is even worse. Uh, Revive King Hades, whatever. Um, just if they do something really careless, or obviously if you're against other zombies for some reason, he's really amazing. But if they do something stupid like leave their Plague Spreader in their grave, this guy can lead to some amazing tricks. So, you need the one, plus he's not a 6 star. 6 stars are easy to hit with Plague Spreader, all the zombie reanimation, and lots of 4 stars. Tempest, because stealing spellcasters is still easy and she's a good way to finish the job. And Magical Android, the obligatory 5 star. And side deck, um, I had been running the one Gale, I swapped it out for swords right quick, like I say, this is just kind of a thrown together fun deck that was almost as a tribute to a friend. Circo. Side deck, triple Divine Wrath, you don't necessarily side in all three. It's kind of an individual deck analysis sort of thing, but side in two against Black Wings. Uh, for sure, along with the Sirico. Breaker. Two Twisters. As you know, Friend Decree, that's for sure. Vortex. Mirror Match, hello! Couldn't resist. Uh, my local meta is a little weird, but there are a lot of zombie players, so in the event that I ran to other zombies, I wanted to be able to hose them even harder than zombies already hose other zombies with Doom Kaiser. So, double Marionette Might, because Brain Control is nice. Uh, you got a uh, surprising number of lights. Remember, like, Goku N, for instance, is light. Uh, so you got plenty of lights and darks. Chaos Sorcerer can be a good point-and-click kill. Uh, works in the mirror match against zombies, but tap some other stuff. You can use your imagination. And Trap Dust Shoot, last but not least. So there you go, some casual zombies for local. Modify it yourself. I'm trying to work on the light sworn, plague sworn sort of thing, but it needs a lot of work. Obviously, you can't run it the old way because you only got the one Mezuki, the one plague spreader. But uh, anyway, something for you to bat around, maybe build yourself, run with. Not too many expensive cards in there for the most part. Uh, you can change the synchro deck around as you want it. So there you go. And until next time, rate, comment, subscribe, and enjoy.